Hello and welcome back to some more of the Teutonic Order Iron Man campaign in Europe Universals 4 with me the Green Dragon. We are going for the Baltic Crusader achievement and we are still recovering for our various wars but we have some manpower I just noticed so I'm gonna be switching more of my army over to that again. Because those mercs do cost an arm and a leg, essentially. I think we are okay, but our enemies will declare on us at any moment. Again. And, um, well, that kind of crap can swiftly lead to bankruptcy. We have 13 loans, we can take 33, and we are already struggling with interest. It's not good. That's all I'm saying, it's not entirely good. Colonian Conquest of Castle. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. I really don't want to actually fight in this. Do they need me? Not really. Okay, good. That or they're gonna get wrecked on their own. Listen, dude, I know I'm that I'm your big friend or some such crap, but honestly, this can't be our thing, okay? It just can't be. The moment I can, I'm white piecing out of this. I don't need this crap and I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be a uh, part of this. I just can't be. And uh, I'm just gonna ditch some of these as well because, well, you know, mercenaries. And now we suddenly have provincial unrest here again. Why now? Oh, because the autonomy wore off. The raised autonomy. Okay. Okay, I understand your concerns then. I can certainly understand those concerns. Okay. Brandenburg is gonna get screwed by Bohemia. That is perfectly fine. That sort of blocks the enemies from becoming my problem. That's great. I'm all for it. Actually. Yeah, this fort isn't really that well positioned. I would ideally need another one, probably in Stolp. If I could. But I don't own Stolp. Hence a certain amount of inconvenience there. So that decreases it, right? But only by a little bit, because I have like no maintenance on them. Okay. Okay, fine. Our inflation has gone way up though. Which isn't great. You know what I think I would like to have is a... Uh, Three old trade ships that I can use to actually explore with once I finally get the ability to send out explorers and conquistadors. So we're gonna start constructing a minor navy because we'll need it. To, you know, find a new world, colonize Canada, get down to the Caribbean, that kind of crap. You're still at high, really. Hmm. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh right, you are at war with Sweden, Scotland and the Hansa. Excellent! Who are your friends? Denmark, Lithuania, Wurzburg, Musk. You allied Muscovy? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. But if I someday declared on Poland, I could co Pomerania. Or even not, I just want a couple of pieces like Kohlberg and Stolp. 
You know, at least there's one advantage. Our heat map in this part of the world is uh, practically gone. Hell, it is gone. Even Poland doesn't have all that much heat. Again? There is no money! Money kaput! Money gone! Stop demanding cash, there isn't any! This is idiotic! Such an event should not fire twice when the state isn't doing well. For fuck's sake! We're deeply in debt, we're struggling to do much of anything, really, and I mean, we are. Uh, for all the wars we fought, we are paying now. We're paying the money for those wars now, instead of, you know. Previously. Right, we don't have enough admin points. Wonderful. Wonderful. Close, though, to the. Uh, thing there. That's good. That's good. Are we still getting a ne negative? Wow, that... Moscow is a pretty big uh, city, apparently. Pretty uh, important piece of clay there. And, uh, right, we have 24... 24% there, which means that some of the money is flowing out. It's just that there isn't that much of it. Which sucks. Now, Lithuania expanded into territory I will want. Well, we're gonna have to kill Lithuania then. I don't know, Bohemia tends to be a good ally against Poland, it seems. Maybe we'll stick with them. I am not going over there to help. I'll uh, seek my vassals on them. Actually, no, be supportive. I don't want you going over there. I don't want you going over there, I want you here, and... It will be nice once we annex Novgorod, actually, since then we'll actually have a pretty decent-sized army. God damn it, Cologne, though. Did you really think that it was a good idea to declare this war? Because, honestly, I think I'm gonna ditch you as an ally for this piece of stupidity. Not that I'm necessarily such a big prize myself as an al ally right now, but... S damn. Like, damn. He still has high enthusiasm, because I'm t in the war with him. Ugh. <sighs> You never know with the AI, right? Sometimes you tie yourself to a crazy person. Sometimes you tie yourself to a crazy person. It would be nice if we could save up enough money to maybe pay off one of the debts. Okay, now we just need to work our way up to being able to have the actual explorers and conquistadors. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's like half of our expenses are going into the interest payments. That is not good. That is ruinous, ruinous debt. Just... Damn. Shit, son, you know. We now need just enough Diplo points to hire an explore and we'll start looking for the, uh, you know, new world. And go to Reykjavik. That's where we're gonna be setting out on our, uh, Wonderful, wonderful explorations of the universe and its mysteries. Of 
Relative strength of alliances, yes. So I'm essentially just being intimidating at them. Great. Oh, shit. The Ottomans think I'm a rival. <laughs> Crap. Well, I suppose I should take it as a compliment, I suppose. Means I'm kind of strong, right? Is there any place I could decrease it? Not really, it'll have to take down naturally, but... You know, I suppose that will work out eventually. Hey, Riga has like no... No, uh, actual autonomy, that's good. But I have... Don't I have a claim on Agder? Hmm, no, I've fabricated on Shetland and that's the one that just wore off, right? Wow, it's bit, quite a bit of time just sitting at peace and trying to recover, huh? Interesting. I think I can get started on Moscow, actually. No, I can't. Because it's 280 instead. Yeah, that is going so slowly. Wow, Denmark made... Wait... You let them out of the war without taking your course back? Denmark... You f... Are you fucking mad? Are you... Honestly, that... The AI is on occasion retarded, I have to say. It really is. You know... Fuck it, just whatever we have, put it in. We'll see if we can uh, maybe get a... Uh, Thing there. Probably not, but let's put five points in for the chance at least. Okay. While we're doing that, uh, exploration. No. Waters of the North Sea. Have at it. You willing to let me out yet? Apparently not. Wonderful. Someone's invading Hungary down there. Huh. Did France take back that crap? Oh no, they didn't. No, they didn't. France is landlocked. They got no navy. No ports, no nothing. Cool. I... I approve this message. I truly do. And let's just get started on this as well. That's, uh... Okay, we can repay one loan. Pay a little less constant interest. Hmm. How much am I spending on those mercs right now? 2.5 actual army costs a lot less. Yeah, I'm gonna save up some money and then I'm gonna turn a few more of this, a little more of this manpower reserve into actual troops. Uh, pff, sure, I don't care about military engineers. Trying to prevent bankruptcy. Okay, so we explored something or another. Good. Hudson Bay. Explore me the Hudson Bay. And then we'll start sending our colonists. And God save us. Well, actually, no, we won't be able to yet. But uh, God save us when we do. Do, that's gonna cost an arm and a leg. Colonists are expensive to maintain. 
but we're gonna do it anyway. So we're even gonna subsidize colonies so that they can afford their, to send out their own colonies. What the fuck are you doing, Norway? Oh, I need to vassalize them. If they're gonna be colonizing on their own, that, that is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing at all. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And two more on top of that, I think. Okay, they white piece, excellent. Okay, bring out those. And uh, kill five of them. Goodbye. This will make Novgorod pissy, of course, but uh, only for a month or two while our own people actually get back into a position. Oh, and they don't pay you any money when they're disloyal either. Hmm. I want to start actually annexing the Livonians as soon as that's a thing, so that's gonna be a thing we do. Wow, you're gonna get pissy, eh? Just gonna go back to improving relations with you. Wow, they're both upset. Let me guess. Now suddenly you are far, far more cool between the two of you, right? Or something of that nature. Guess we're gonna keep the mercenaries and just build up our armies for now. With the mercenaries. Just infantry mostly, but I would kind of like to have the troops ready in case someone decides that they're too cool to be a vassal anymore or something. I'll need to send some troops over to the New World eventually anyway. Might as well have them ready. Okay. This does help the uh, cash situation though, which is very nice. However little. Wow, you really are upset, huh? Some of this is relations, actually, with the Novgorodians, so... Why don't we improve them up first, okay? I'm gonna hire myself a knight as well. To even things out. One or more of your subjects has a high liberty desire. Boom, 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 boom. More than 100 total development, too. Fuckers. Yeah, they're happy because I revoked their march, really. And they're used to not having to pay taxes and such, and obviously they're butthurt about it. Who wouldn't be? It is, though, uh, minus 200. Which is kind of uh, rough. I think religious has improved relations stuff once we actually reach that. Or does it? I don't think it does anymore. I think it used to. Yeah, culture conversion costs. Okay. Yeah, you are upset because deep low reputation and just general butthurtedness. I get it, okay? I do. Constant balancing act with these fuckers, too. They're really a, a bit of a pain in the ass in their own little way. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. 
they're sort of starting to untwist their panties. That's good. I am gonna go up to at least 20k in this army, I think. For various reasons. Not the least of which is, uh, actually, delay that. Let's hire a few more knights. I would like to have four cavalry in my thing. You. Explore the actual coast now, so that we can see the land. We're gonna start with the colony in Canada, I think. Maybe. But we'll try to move... Actually, we'll try to jump down to the Caribbean as soon as we're able. So that we can claim it as our region that nobody else is allowed to have. You know, get the Pope to declare that. Because the Pope does do that kind of crap. I have had it. I have managed to make it happen. And I've seen Portugal and Castile do it too. Did you build another troop or something? Better Diplotech. You fucking kidding me. Right. Unless we're not using any Diplo points on it right now. And you know... Better relations over time guy, eh? I'm actually gonna hire him. Because we could kind of use them right now. 1.7 ducats. Unfortunate, but I think it's... Uh, Okay. Hostile natives, blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, so they essentially attack the ship. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna spend money on this. Okay, you're doing your thing on the coast. Excellent, we'll be able to see where we can land. Great. And that's gonna be awesome. Getting the Diplo reputation up from doing that will help as well, of course. Yeah, that's gonna have to be the thing here. Ouch, down to 3.72. That is not necessarily very good. Why don't we reduce that a smidge? No, I don't have the money for this crap. Give me a good event for money, please. Ooh, army tradition though, that I'll take. That will uh, keep our general better, ultimately. Which will help, in all kinds of ways. It would be nice though if this bullshit would actually annex at some point. Yes, we're finding random crap. Good, good, good. Yeah, advisor's cost. That is an unfortunate truth. They do have to keep the uh, forts. Where? Where, 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 where? Where the frack is here? Uh tax it. That's 0.5 extra ducats a month. That's moderately worthwhile, really. And, uh, if we could get this high enough, our vessels would start to pay us again. It would help a little bit, but yeah. I don't think they want to pay us anything. Which is unfortunate. We 
We need to throw them at an enemy so that they lose some of their uh, troops and stuff. Wonderful. So, that's happening. Hmm, I... You're allied with Novgorod. Of course you are, you fucker. God damn it, show me! Right, I thought someone was actually supporting their independence from the outside. Okay, we're gonna need to get rid of our marks and build up our troops, bit by bit. So that's what we're gonna go, uh, do. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, so see you then.